Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Misa. I am crazy about helping you enhance your foundation routine, but today, today I decided to do a good old fashioned get ready with me. So if you kind of want a mini life update, want to just see like my usual really fast, easy makeup routine, then go ahead and keep on watching. I want to do a combination of primers. I'm going to go in with the Smashbox primer oil. If you have dry skin, wow. I just love this stuff. It's great. Hydrating, lightweight, and I really feel like it doesn't clog pores or anything like that. I am trying to wake up. I've, I set my alarm for 6 a.m. It is now, what time is it? 6.42, so the fact that I am here filming is great. <laughs> Going in with a primer. This is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. Guys, if you haven't tried this, wow. I mean, I am like, it goes on clear just like that. Like, what kind of SPF goes on clear like that? No white cast. It has... The coolest texture, honestly, it reminds me of the Smashbox, their iconic primer. It's like clear, but it has that same texture. Goes on really silky smooth, but you get those SPF benefits, which is just out of this world. This is by far my favorite SPF for this, this summer. So I haven't done a get ready with me in a really long time. And the reason why is because YouTube is a platform. I follow the analytics and Get ready with me's tutorials, they don't do very well anymore. And maybe it's just for me. Maybe it'll switch over time. So I just don't do them. Going with a foundation, I'm gonna, going to go in with a rare beauty foundation. I have a review on this. I really like it. If anything, if you have dry skin, you just really need to prime your skin, get it really hydrated to go in with an oil, go in with a good primer, and then go in with this because it can be drying and appear that it sits on your skin. But I really like it. I love the packaging. I really enjoy the formula. I look at the analytics and get ready with me's, they just don't do very well. Do you like get ready with me's? Let me know in the comments down below. Seriously, give it a heart. Oh, and don't forget to give this a like. I really need to start pushing my comments and my likes because it's been kind of, it's been quiet down there. And if you actually wanna have a conversation, follow me on Instagram, I answer my DMs. I'm pretty interactive on there. I do reels, all of that kind of stuff. So I recently went to this thing called Suzy School. It's this amazing woman, her name is Suzy, and I've been following her for so long and I was actually signed up for this school in March, maybe it was January, but it got canceled because of everything going on. And then finally we were able to go to it just last week. And wow. Who wouldn't know Instagram is such a complex platform? Like, I'm a YouTube girl, so I under, like, I kind of know the back end, the analytics, like what works, what doesn't. Granted, I feel like with any platform, if you're trying to grow on a platform, honestly, the big takeaway and the secret is time and consistency. Like, you need to be putting time into it and you need to be consistent. So I went for a number of reasons, even though Instagram is not my main platform. I went because I wanted to be surrounded by a group of people that are like-minded, have like similar dreams, are trying to grow a platform and just like really brainstorm and just kind of be in that room with people who want to grow a business, entrepreneur like mindset. Because whether we like to admit it or not, Instagram, YouTube, if you're like trying to make it a business, I am telling you it is, it's a lot of work. Anyway, I learned so much there, but I think the main takeaway I got from it is how much better and more suited YouTube is for me. Instagram is very, like, you have to be, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and I'm in the shade uh, Cashmere. It's, I haven't been using it for a while, and I used it the other day, and I'm just like, oh, why did I ever stop using this? concealer it's so flawless it's such a good one going in with my wet and wild photo focus translucent powder um anyway what i was getting to is that instagram's a hard platform because you have to be completely active on it all the time responding to dms interacting reels and posts it's it's really hard well with youtube i can do this kind of on my own time like i can wake up early film 
edit when I have the time, and then I can pre-film, make sure all my videos are getting uploaded, and then I can just respond to comments when they go live. And this to say, I'm YouTube is amazing, and thank you so much for watching and for following me. You don't really need to set this down much more, actually. I was gonna go in with my hourglass powder, but it is not, not needed. Okay, so for bronzer, let's go in with my hourglass bronzer. This is Radiant Bronze Light. It's a splurge. I think it's about 50 or $60. I don't know, I feel like it's really worth it. Hourglass is definitely one of my favorite brands, but they are pricey. They recently came out with a new palette, but I'm probably not going to get it just because. I like to take a big fluffy brush for bronzing. This is the Morphe M527 in Goat Hair. Goat Hair brushes, I feel like, perform really well with bronzers because they evenly disperse the product and just create just like that really natural sun-kissed look. And I love to bring my bronzer underneath my chin to create some shadowing and also just to create just like a nice cohesive look. So right now on Instagram we're doing a challenge. Well I'm doing a challenge, it's a five day challenge where you're spending one hour, whoa, I've got this thing here, I gotta where we're spending one hour a day for five days working on our dreams, plans, like if you're trying to grow on YouTube, you should totally join me. Just set aside one hour a day, like one hour you can pre-plan your videos, one hour a day you can film, where you work on your dream. Which, by the way, thank you so much because I recently hit 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be doing an upload really soon talking about like some tips and tricks that I have to reach your first 1,000 because uh, I know it's a process. Lately with my nose contour, I've just been going in with like this little fluffy goat hair brush. This is the Morphe M441. And I just take this underneath my lip that creates some shadowing underneath my nose, also some shadowing. And then I just lightly dust this on the sides. See how I just kind of it just kind of adds that little... And then I usually bring this into my crease if we're just trying to create a really fast, easy look. But I actually want to use this Evening Glamour palette by Blink. I got this in my BoxyCharm this last month. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. And I was just really impressed with it, so I want to use it again. I'm going in with Sundown. These two are actually blushes, but I think they work great in the crease. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in with Eventide, which is the darker blush shade, and just put that a little bit in the outer corners. Another reason why I don't do Get Ready With Me is a lot, because honestly guys, my makeup looks the same every time. It doesn't matter like what variation I do. I keep it really simple. Now I'm going in with Sunset. Love this one. Like look at the dimension that this adds. The boxy charm, wow, I've I've just been blown away. Like this is five full size products for twenty five dollars. What in the world? If you want to sign up, I have a link down below. I quickly put my brows on. This is the full. Br <laughs> this is the benefit foolproof brow powder in the shade three. Guys, I've had this for so long and I still haven't hit pan. I'm working so hard to use up these products. Then going in with the foolproof brow gel. I have to use this to just like make them piecier and then to also stay all day because powder just doesn't stay super long. Okay, now blush. Okay, let's do some blush. So what my favorite brush, I cannot, I cannot. My favorite blush these days is this Patrick Ta. She's sincere. I just love it because, you know, you can't really go overboard. It's just super, it's just an easy one. I go in with this brush I got from a Morphe set a while ago. You can go two ways. So you can just apply blush on your sides, which creates like a slimming effect, or you can put them on the apples of your cheeks. I personally like both, but today I'll just keep it to the sides and then I like to tie it together. You know, same old, same old makeup routine. I don't really switch it up. I need to learn some new techniques when I have the time, but that's why I stick to like reviews, first impressions, because I don't need to switch up my routine to do those. This was the palette I was talking about earlier. This is my Hourglass Ghost Edit palette, and there's a highlight in here, it's a strobe light, and it's this corner, and that's what I'm going to use for my highlight today if I can find, if I can find a brush. Okay, here we go. 
This is a good highlighting brush. It's the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JHO9. Just gonna take that. These strobe lights are not super glittery, it's just more of like a sheen, which is nice. And it's more like cool toned, white toned. Going in with a setting spray, this is the Dewy Set by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna do that. The sprayer has gotten quite aggressive. It's one of my favorites, but I have noticed the sprayer is so aggressive. I'm trying to think about my lips. So my friend Italia, who I went to Susie's school with, she was also my roommate. It was super fun. She gave me this little milk makeup um, lip and cheek color in the shade Work. And I'm just gonna put that on my lips. If I can get it in the lines. <laughs> Mm. That looks really good. Waffles, come here. come here. This is my little old man waffles. Almost 13 years old. I bought him when I was I was 18 years old. I was in New York for like a senior trip and he's just been with me ever since. Mm. Okay, I'm almost done. So the last step is a mascara, it's the Largella New York. I actually got this from the BoxyCharm as well, and it does flake a little bit, but it's actually one of the ones that I'm, I like quite a bit. Well, I've only used it once, so I can't, I can't say. Wow. Finished look. Yep, it turned out great. Seriously, thank you so much for joining along with this Get Ready With Me. Like I said, if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments down below. If not, I'll still kind of back off from them, but do them every once in a while. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.